vlog welcome back to my channel so in exactly 10 days i'm going on a bahamas cruise for my birthday celebration with my family i'm so excited so i'm gonna be doing like another cruise series that i did last year so if you guys haven't watched that before make sure to watch those videos so this video is going to basically be a pack and prep with me i have a lot of stuff to do to get ready for this cruise a lot of little errands to run and a lot of like beauty things to do so we're gonna do it together um today i'm getting my hair done it's one o'clock and my appointment's at 2 o'clock and I still need to put on some makeup and kind of get ready for that So I'm gonna chat with you guys while I do that. I literally haven't gotten my hair done in a year I'm going to the same girl that I went to last year. I love her. She literally does such a good job So I definitely wanted to go back to her this time because last time I was so happy with the highlights I'm planning on getting basically the same thing which is like caramel blondish highlights Um, but I think I might ask for it to be more like chunky but still blended like kind of like bigger sections and then I also wanted to like frame my face and I'm still debating but I kind of want to get long layers I'm not really sure yet because I'm really scared of people cutting my hair because I'm scared of like it getting cut too short But I don't know. I'm gonna talk to her and see what happens I feel like whenever I have appointments, I'm always rushing and it's so annoying and I have no one to blame but myself So I think I'm just gonna keep my makeup pretty light, but I definitely still want like concealer Mascara just so that when I like do my hair, it looks more complete I feel like it's not the same effect if I don't have makeup on. But I'm so excited to be going back on a cruise. Ever since that last one that I went on last year, my parents have been obsessed. They've already went on two cruises. One with just my parents and then they took my grandparents and then we're going again this summer. And I'm really excited. I'm also really excited because my sister Amanda and her fiance are also going to be there. And I just know we're all going to have a really fun time. Like I said before, if you guys haven't watched my past cruise videos, you guys definitely should because I feel like it was a lot of fun being there and a lot of fun filming. It. So this cruise is a seven-day cruise. We're going to Florida, Nassau, Bahamas, and then Coco Cay Beach. And then the last two days are just like sailing days. This time around is kind of different because on my birthday, June 19th, we're actually going to be in Nassau. I'm so happy about that. I'm so excited. And I'm so grateful that we're able to go again and that it like just falls perfectly on my birthday. I feel like that's like a really special way to celebrate. Since I'm running low on time, I think I'm just gonna keep the makeup light. Definitely wanna wear mascara, maybe a little bit of eyeliner on my waterline and concealer and blush. salon i'm so nervous but i'm so excited i got kind of in a bad mood because i was rushing and i literally don't know why i can't like relax before an appointment like i could have just avoided this all by like getting ready earlier but i went to the gym before this that took me longer than i thought it did and then whatever but now i'm on the way i'm really excited like i honestly don't have any expectations for when i go just because i like liked how much she did it last time that i'm not like worried about it at all so i'll update you guys when i get there and I guess you guys will see if I vlog in there or not. I'm not really sure if like she would be comfortable with that or not. Or if I will even ask because I'm so awkward. But I will do my best to see if I can record. Her little room is so cute. This is my first time being in this room because she's at a different salon before. But my hair is just baking in these lights. I'm supposed to like help it do something. I don't know what but yep just bake in my head for now. I just finished my hair appointment. It looks so good. I'm literally so happy with how my hair came out. I told you guys I had no worries. She basically did like the last thing I got last time. I don't even know what I really asked for. Just like highlights and like many pieces kind of. And she literally gave me the perfect shade. It's not too light. It's not too dark. So I'm really happy with how it looks. I'm going to try and show what it looks like. I can't really do 180, but this is how the hair looks. And I like how she left some dimension, like there's still a lot of dark pieces. And I'm really happy with it. I think it looks so good. Um, she straightened it and I feel so bad because I have so much hair. So it took her a while. Um, we kind of went 10 minutes over my appointment. So that's why we also ran out of time to do a cut. She literally did exactly what I wanted. So I'm really happy. And I'm going to go home and show my mom and my dad and my sister. So this was just the first prep thing to do on the list. By the time I film whatever next, it honestly 
honestly might not even stay straight until next Thursday. So the next time I vlog, I might have my natural hair. I don't really know yet. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks for now. I'm really happy with it. And I'm gonna go home and show everyone and see what they think. So somehow I only have two days until we leave for the cruise. Today is Wednesday and we leave for the cruise on Friday morning. And I have a strong feeling that I'll be able to get everything done. Last cruise, if you watched my last pack and prep with me, I literally stayed up all night to pack and I refused to do that again. So I'm gonna start packing today. My hair is still going strong. It doesn't look that bad. And I put dry shampoo so it smells nice and fresh. Sorry if that's gross to you guys, but my hair just doesn't really get like super greasy at the top. It does get more dry everywhere. And I think I've just trained my hair pretty good because it's like not really like super dirty, if that makes sense. Um, I also feel like it's a curly hair thing if you get what I mean. Today, I really wanna focus on picking out the clothes to pack because like, honestly, I feel like that's like the most time consuming thing for me is because I'm so indecisive and then I end up packing like everything in my closet. So I really just wanna like pick out workout clothes, dinner clothes, like cute outfits. I don't know if I'm gonna like pack them into the suitcase yet, but I definitely wanna choose the stuff that I'm gonna bring and like all the outfits. Later today, I also wanna go shopping for some last minute things. I have to go to Target and maybe the mall because I don't really know how many like beachy and like vacation clothes I have. I always say like I might not have enough clothes but I feel like I do anyways. So we're gonna see after I pack. Today is mainly like packing focused and then tomorrow is gonna be more of like a beauty maintenance day. I'm gonna get my lashes done, I'm gonna do my nails and I also need a wax and like do all that stuff. Um, But right now I'm gonna pick out the clothes that I wanna bring which is really hard for me because I'm so indecisive and I love to overpack. I'm also gonna be using this really big luggage. Thank God my mom let me borrow hers and she's using my smaller one. I'm just an overpacker and I really wanted a big luggage so she just let me use hers because last cruise I think I brought like five bags like I'm not even kidding you guys. So here's the progress. I have a lot of clothes here but this is still not complete. I have a bunch of clothes in the wash right now so I have a lot more to add to this. Over here is workout clothes. This little pile is sleeping clothes. This row right here is all like tops to wear like cute tops and tank tops. Over there I only have like three things but it's like dressy attire but I might add some more stuff to there. And then over here is some beach wear shorts. The outfit that I think I'm gonna wear for the travel day and then some more like beach wear so these are the clothes for now but i definitely know i'm still gonna add a lot more but literally i'm doing three loads of laundry so i'm gonna have a lot of clothes to pick from but i think this is gonna be my stopping point for now and we're gonna go shopping I'm not gonna go crazy shopping just because i don't really need a ton of things but i definitely want to go to target and look at their like travel stuff and then i also like need certain essentials and then i think i also want to go to h&m or like the mall because like i feel like i want like a nice little like birthday beach outfit and I didn't really get an outfit for that because I just wasn't thinking ahead so I want to see if H&M has like anything but honestly I won't be super mad if I can't find anything because I have so much clothes anyway so I don't know we'll see but I'm gonna go to Target I'm gonna change because I'm wearing sweatpants and it's really hot outside and I think Angie's gonna come with me it's literally burning hot out and I changed into a long sleeve so I think that was a bad idea it kind of evens out because I'm wearing biker shorts Ooh, lord this is why i can't vlog and drive at the same time it's like really bad i think i'm gonna go to the mall first because they close soon and then we're gonna go to target after andrew was gonna come with me but he can't anymore because he needs to do some things before like the store closes and i need to go to different stores so it's just me and you guys today i also made this coffee i was really tempted to get starbucks but i honestly haven't gotten a good coffee from them in like the past month so taking a little break because apparently no one knows how to make a brown sugar shaken express around here. I'm just gonna try and enjoy the drive. I'm kind of leaving during rush hour traffic, so I'm gonna get some road rage. I already know it. I'm in Arrow. I'm not sure it's really cute, but like, I think it's like $45 for this. Like, this is like half a shirt. This would have been a cute, like, beachy fit with like a bikini under it. This is a fail. I don't think I'm gonna get anything. I also went to HM and they had nothing. So, I'm gonna check how much this shirt actually is. If it's $45, best believe I'm not getting it. I ended up leaving the mall with one thing. I got that shirt that I tried on in Arrow. It was actually $19 instead of $44 because I was like, $45 for that like thin shirt is like ridiculous to me. But it was on sale, so I got it. I literally didn't find anything in H&M or like anything like beachy, like dressy vibe that I wanted. So yeah, I'm kind of disappointed, but now I'm gonna go to Target and I'm gonna get contact solution, shaving cream, tanning oil, and aloe. So like, little essential things for this trip. home 
and I think for the rest of the night I want to do my nails or at least like get started on them because doing nails takes so long I don't think I'm gonna do a lot more packing tonight just because I already picked out most of my clothes so I'm gonna deal with the rest of that tomorrow because I honestly just don't feel like doing that tonight but as a lot of you guys probably already know I do my own nails at home I use gel X so I got some stuff from Amazon that I want to show you guys if you guys are beginners or like want to do your own nails at home I'm trying to pick between these two nails so there's like these ones with like a short square french because like i feel like at the beach i don't really like having long nails because like sand and like sunscreen and all that and i've really been loving like short square nails so i ordered these soft gel tips and they're square and short so i might test this out tonight but i also want to have like the classic almond french tips but like last cruise i had these nails so like maybe i should switch it up and i also bought new almond shape tips so i have like all the necessities it's just basically up to me based on what shape i want to do and then to help me out with the french tips i got some little nail tools so i got these one step to get french nails nail stamp and it's basically just like a little rubber thing and you like stamp it on your nail but it's like this clear thing you put like gel on it and then you press it on your nail and it's supposed to make like the little french tip that's definitely going to be really helpful i've seen it all over my like instagram reels and tiktoks so i got that and everything is linked in my storefront and then i also got these really really thin nail brushes to help make the french tip line and these ones are like super thin like i don't even know if you can see that but these are like gonna be perfect to do french and then i also got this really pretty like pink nude nail base color for like french tips and it's just like this really pretty color so i have all the supplies i have like the gel x i have all the tips i think i'm just gonna prep my nails and then hopefully that will give me enough time to decide whether i want almond or square because i really don't know i feel like i should switch it up and do square because i've never done square but also like what if i do square and then i don't like it you know but anyways it's getting kind of late and i'm tired i have to wake up early tomorrow to prep even more if you guys have any questions about like doing your own nails at home let me know and yeah i guess we'll just see how this goes so it's the next day i woke up feeling very stressed today this morning i got up early and i finally finished my nails i only literally did half of them last night this is how they came out i ended up going with the almond french because i've never done square french on me okay these birds are being so loud and i don't know i just like felt like it'd be kind of risky if i like didn't like it so i just went with the classic and i think they look pretty good but right now i'm gonna get ready to go to my eyelash appointment today is gonna be like my little beauty day but i still got a lot of packing to do so there's like a huge mess behind me so excuse that thankfully i don't have to like put on any makeup because you know you're not supposed to but i also just got out of the shower and did my little like the shower routine i shaved exfoliated deep conditioned did all that i'm so excited to get my lashes done today i am not going to my usual bestie slash lash girl this is like a little birthday gift from my sister and my mom so i'm going to like their lash girl so they're treating me today to my lashes so i'm kind of nervous because i haven't gotten my lashes done in so long and i also have never never been to this person before i'm gonna like kind of dry up my hair a little bit because i don't want my hair to be soaking wet when she's doing my lashes i need to put on my skincare for right now i like how i literally said that i wasn't gonna like put everything off the last minute but here i am the day before the cruise i don't know where the time has gone it's already one o'clock but you know we're gonna get through this it'll be fine i just got to the lash text place i'm about to go in and get my lashes done i'm getting hybrid i'm showing her an inspo pic of like like something like that maybe i don't know i'm like not picky at all right now since i haven't gotten my lashes done in so long i don't really like know what to expect um but i'm gonna go in there and get my lashes done and i'll show you guys how it looks after oh my gosh i just finished with my lashes excuse my blemishes right now this is how they look 
I'm trying to show you guys. I got them kind of long. I really like it though. They look so good. I'm so not used to having my lashes this long anymore. So I'm like still trying to get used to it. I feel like it also looks kind of crazy right now because I have like no makeup on and I also look really pale right now. Like what's going on here? Like I really need this vacation and to get tan because I'm like glowing. So right now I'm going to drive home and then eat something because I literally haven't eaten all day. And then I'm going to get back into packing. It's seriously time to get going. Like I literally need to finish packing. So I'm gonna pack up all my clothes into my suitcase and all my hair products and all my shoes and everything. I want everything done within the next like hour and a half. So I did get some new packing cubes. So I got this from Amazon. Like everything I get from Amazon, it'll be linked to my storefront. So this set comes with a bunch of these cute like beige packing cubes. I think this is like a five piece set and I've never used packing cubes for clothes. Whenever I have used it, it's mainly for like hair products and stuff. So I'm really excited to put all my clothes in here. Apparently it's supposed to like really compact them so you can like end up packing a lot more. And then I also want to show you guys some of my early birthday gifts. My mom is literally the cutest when it comes to gifts. She gives me like the best gifts and I wasn't even expecting any of this because we are going on a cruise for my birthday so I didn't demand any gifts if that's what you guys were thinking. She got me this really cute traveling case. It's from Amazon I think. I'll link that too. Like look how cute it is. So it has a zipper and it's like this dusty pink color and then it has like this little hook so you can like hook it onto something while you like need to get ready. Like look at that. And then she already pre-filled it with a bunch of like travel stuff. So I I'm gonna put a lot of my products in here, but like, are you serious? Like, this is like the perfect thing to travel with. She put like nail clippers, panty liners, travel size bottles and like loofahs, some face wipes and body wipes, toothpaste, more little travel size containers. And then down here are some fashion tape and then she also got me like deodorant stain wipes which I'll definitely be using. This bag is so cute. I'm probably gonna fill it up with some more things or like take out any of the stuff that I don't need for this trip. I'll show you guys what I end up like fully packing in here. But, like it's so cute and it has like another pocket in the front. Definitely recommend this if you're traveling. And then she also got me some other goodies like body mist. This smells like coconuts and like beachy. So I'm gonna bring this. And then she also got me some lip gloss and a thermal treatment wrap for the hair. She also got me a hair mask. And I'm thinking about bringing this, but it might be too big, so I don't really know yet. And then lastly, she also got me this really cute beach bag. It's like kind of like straw. So cute. I really wanted a bag like this to just like go on the beach when we're there. Or like if I want to go to the pool or something. And I like that the straps are like this leather because like I feel like if it would be this material, it'd be easy to like snap off. And I have a cute little bag that I'm definitely going to bring. And then last night, Andrew gave me all my birthday gifts. Since I'm going to be on the cruise, he wanted to just give it to me early. And he also wanted to give me some of this stuff early because he knew I probably would want to bring it to the cruise. I want to give you guys a little birthday gift haul from Andrew. He first gave me this little crown, inflatable crown. Got me two super goop sunscreens. This one's the unseen sunscreen and then this is the every single face watery lotion one. They're both sunscreen but they're like different formulas I think. And then he got me this snail skincare and it's like the travel kit that comes with four pieces. I have been wanting to try this stuff for a long time so I'm really happy that he got me this. And then he got me this cake my day hydrating face mask with hyaluronic acid. This stuff smells literally amazing. I love like birthday cake scented things. It looks like this. The camera is not focusing, but it looks like that. And then literally look at the inside. It looks like sprinkles and it smells so good. I can't wait to use this. And then he got me this strawberry shortcake makeup melting balm. Oh my gosh, guys, this smells so good. It's by the brand pharmacy. I've never like gotten anything from them before but it's basically just like a cleansing balm and it smells so good it's like this light pink color and it's so cute like literally look at the packaging i love that and he also got me this dermalogica like face exfoliant i've been wanting to get this for the longest time but i like never ended up getting it so he got it for me he's literally so good at gift giving like i didn't even ask for any of this stuff he just like remembered like me saying i wanted certain things like throughout time so that's like the skincare stuff he got me and then he got me the bbl jacket if you guys don't know about the bbl jacket this is her it's from lululemon and it's basically just like a workout top that makes you look really cinched in. I have been obsessed with this. I've wanted this for so long. So he got me this in black. And I tried it on yesterday. It's like a glove and it's so soft. And he got me a couple like workout things. He got me some new athlete shorts. So these are like these really cute like matcha green colored 
workout shorts with the scrunch. I look like that and I think I'm gonna bring this. And I think I'm also gonna bring this so I'm BBLing on the cruise. And then he got me another one of the Alphalete sports bras in like the matching green color. And I love these. These are so soft and comfortable. I literally wear these like five times out of the week. So he got me a new one. And I also think I'm gonna bring this to the cruise. Then he got me something I really needed, which is socks because I literally don't have enough socks. I always end up losing them. So he got me like two packs of like just regular short white socks and then these like fun little Nike ones with like lace at the top and then he got me It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I'm reading It Starts With Us on the cruise. I'm bringing it. So I'm going to read this one afterwards because I looked at reviews and they said to read this after It Ends With Us, which I was like confused about because I thought you would start with this one, but they said not to, so I'm not going to. And then he got me a lint roller because I use these literally every day from all these cats in my house. And I'm pretty sure you guys know that I love Bob's Burgers, biggest Bob's Burgers fan. He got me these little like mystery toys and I got Bob and Linda, the perfect match they're like little squishy thingies these are so cute and then he got me a bunch of like snacks and chocolate he got me hot cheetos my favorite and then he got me some takis i already started eating these i know those are really bad for you but those are like my weakness and then he got me a ton of these chocolates so i have like ghirardelli lens and some pocky which are all my favorites oh and he also got me this watermelon toner by the glow recipe i've been wanting to try this for so long so i'm so excited to try it out but yeah i just wanted to give you guys a little haul of what angie got me because i'm probably going to be bringing some of this stuff onto the cruise he got me such good gifts like andrew is always so good at gift giving like he actually pays attention to like what i say i like and then remembers to get it for me but now i'm gonna get to packing like i'm not playing around anymore like i need to get this done right now <laughs> just completely filled up all of the packing cubes I have. I'm starting to figure out like how I'm going to place this together, but in this big one, I have my whole week of workout clothes, like leggings and tops and all that. And then in this one, I have some sleep shirts and like pajamas kind of, and then all of my like cute tops to wear during the day, like tank tops and crop tops and all that. And then in this one, I'm not really sure what I put in here. I think this might be all my sports bras and regular bras. And then in this one over here, I have all of my like fancy dresses and like one piece outfits. And then I left the big like chunky stuff out. So all of this is like beachwear. And then over there is a pile of shorts. And then over here, it's like sweatshirts and sweatpants. So I think I'm gonna try and lay out all these like little cubes and then pack up everything on top of it, like all my sweatpants and all that. And then hopefully it'll be able to close and then I could just put the rest of my products all here. And then over here, I laid out a bunch of my products. So starting over here, I have a bunch of like sun stuff. So I have sunscreen, aloe, and some tanning oil. And then over here, I have some like bath stuff. So I have shower gel, shaving cream, and some body mist. And then over here, I got these really cute little CeraVe travel size moisturizer and cleanser. They're like so cute. I didn't even know these existed. And I got some Aquaphor. I have some contact solution, my deodorant. And then I'm also bringing a bunch of medicine. So Andrew got this for me a while ago. It's this really cute little medicine case. But I'm still going to fill up the rest of the compartment. And then I have my probiotics and some digestive enzymes. If you have gut health problems and have like trouble digesting things, I definitely recommend this. My sister Amanda showed me it. And now, thanks to this i can literally eat something like greasy and not feel sick and then i got some snacks and then some like pool stuff that's the progress now i think we're doing really good i have been doing this for two hours so i think i'm just going to keep on packing keep it going and then hopefully the next time i talk to you guys everything will be all packed <music>
22 and i finally finished packing it's been a minute um but i got it done this side under this little zipped up thing is all my clothes and then i have a bunch of my clothes and like bags over here and then this is gonna be like my carry-on because they're gonna take this bag away and i probably won't see it for a couple hours so this is gonna stay with me majority of the day tomorrow i'm panicking because i have to go to bed soon because i'm gonna be the one driving and i have to wake up at five o'clock so the last part of this maintenance day is to wax my armpits because it really needs to be waxed and alex is gonna do it for me well she's gonna help me um so here's my little wax station and we're just gonna do it really quick oh my god they can see it i'm blocking this out is this really hot wait i have something on my chest so i'm not naked by the way <laughs> oh my god wait i'm scared not the first time we've done this i know i don't know <laughs> alex is doing this for me because um i'm too tired to do it myself and she's gonna pull an all-nighter so why not Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so gonna block this out, but you guys don't even know like how bad it was. I haven't waxed my armpits because I was saving it for this moment. The last thing I need to do is hair slash skincare. I like to take off my little stash. I use these thingies. I'm not really sure what they're called, but if you just look up like mustache remover, like tool for women, it'll show up on Amazon. And then I also use a little face razor and take off like all the little hairs on my skin. And then I also need to pluck my eyebrows because it's getting really bad. I'm literally so exhausted. I'm gonna try and do this fast. Um, I still need to get ready for bed and like wash my face and do my nightly skincare I think I'm just gonna do that really quickly off camera Um, but I think I'm gonna end the video off here because I do need to wake up in four hours It's almost 1 a.m. So I'm pretty much all prepped. I did my nails. My lashes are done. My hair is highlighted I wish it was blown out, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow So I just thought I would save myself the damage and I'm all packed. I have everything all here I just need to zip it up and then bring it downstairs in the morning. Thank you guys so much for watching this video Make sure to watch this whole crew series. I'm really excited to show you guys how the trip goes. But yeah, it's time for me to go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in about four hours. So good night and I'll see you in the next video.